Yes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Christmas Eve. And indeed, welcome this year to my Liquish All Sorts mug, a giant bucket of tea this morning, which is very welcome indeed. This is my favourite moment of the year, and I know most years I sort of wrestle with myself as to whether this or Halloween is is my favourite. But I think Halloween is my favourite season of the year, my favourite holiday, my favourite excuse to decorate the house and to relish in in the season and in, in a, uh, an atmosphere. Uh, that said, though, I do enjoy low-level Halloween throughout the year. Even today, we're going to be watching uh, Krampus. <laughs> so so um, that, I think, compares to this moment. This is my favourite moment of the year. Christmas Eve morning, when all through the house, no one else is stirring apart from this guy who gets up at seven in the morning to record a little video, but more importantly, to decompress, to calm down, to relish the quiet, the fact that I can just hear the clocks ticking and, and pretty much nothing else. It's the deep breath before Christmas. And it's also an opportunity to think and reflect and Looking back, I think in previous years, I've talked about how I don't need anything. You know, I don't necessarily know what I want for Christmas. I'm just content to be here. But I think this year in particular, I've actually made some notes. I've, I've, last night I was finishing these off because I, I figured that this isn't a year more so than ever. This isn't a year to think about what I want necessarily. Because money is tight across the board, you know, everyone's, everyone's feeling the pinch. But also because it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a big year, and first and foremost, I'm lucky to be here. Point number one, I am fortunate to be alive and here. Um, you know, only a few months ago, at the beginning of uh, September, end of August, I... I very nearly you know, disappeared off this mortal coil. And this is my first Christmas after that. You know, I've never been so close to to uh, to dying. Uh, I've never been so... Um, uh, what's the word? So disconnected from my, from my, my physical self before than I have this year in 2022. It was interesting, actually. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was saying to, to um, the wonderful Mrs. Soup that what really struck me was the fact that you don't think about that possibility when you're in that moment. So when the um, when the um, the resus team was working on me, I was burbling along, chatting to them, um, hearing you know, frantic calls about blood pressure and so on and so forth. But I didn't for a moment think that I might not make it for another half hour. Um, I just thought I felt a bit sleepy, a bit, um, a bit, ooh. And, and that was interesting. So on the one hand, it's comforting. It means that if, if I had gone, I wouldn't have been scared. I wouldn't have been freaking out. But on the other hand... I wouldn't have been prepared. I wouldn't have been um, ready. And so, without getting too morbid, I'm grateful to be here. This is my, my first Christmas after that, that realization. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think initially, for the, I think for a good few weeks, I was just in a, some sort of state of shock about it. But it's an opportunity to reflect. And this is my my most focused moment to reflect and so I figured I would I'd reflect upon it well thanks a lot you know starting with with nearly dying eh <laughs> um I've survived various coughs and colds this year 
I've had a, such a such a run of bad luck when it came to uh, to coughs and chest infections, especially in the autumn. But I've got over all of those. And for for this list, I've got sort of little sections of things I am, things I have, and then things I'd like to do and be next year and onwards, or even today and onwards. And uh, I've written here, I, I need to do better at being kind to myself and lessening my stress. I said that when I got out of hospital. I'm not sure I've achieved it yet. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to do better at, at being kind to myself. But even that statement, you must do better, Ouch! need to do better. Um, it's a work in progress. But at least I acknowledge it. At least. <laughs> um, this year, I have been lucky enough to, to reconnect with friends, people from high school, people who I thought I had um, I had long since lost track of, or indeed actively ignored, because of stuff that we've talked about elsewhere on this channel. Um, I uh, either out of embarrassment or out of uh, a sort of a slightly slightly warped. Um, worldview because of of my home environment um, had just let go of people. I thought people were going to let me down. I thought the world was just uh, was just waiting to to drop me, and so I dropped them. And turns out they didn't drop me. <laughs> um, last year I uh, bumped into to one of this group of three in particular, completely by accident. Um, Mike, and then this year, I bit the bullet. I, um, it, it was difficult actually. I, I, you know, I said this to Mike. Um, I was very close to making an excuse and not turning up because I was, I was holding on to those old habits. But, um, but it's fantastic. We all, we all mess up at his place. Uh, ben and Emily, they turned up from from their place in Liverpool, and. Um, and it was so easy. It was so simple. And uh, I said, I said at the time, after, you know, afterwards, I messaged and said it was so nice because it feels like meeting up with people who are also from the same plant pot. We all grew up in that little part of Wales, that little little time, um, and a very specific uh, cultural and you know, emotional context. And it just worked, and it was wonderful. And. Um, we may even be seeing them going to Liverpool for New Year's Eve. I don't know at the moment. It depends on the car and stuff. But, yeah. How wonderful. Um, this year I've I've done well with uh, talking therapy. I embarked on a, a series of 10 or 11 sessions. I think the, the, the final one uh, at the beginning of January will be number 11. And this was a very specific... Um, course, I, I I felt as though a few years ago I'd done a lot of hack and slash and burn of of my mental jungle, you know, of the the mess that I was trying to wade through all the time. Not least, for example, ingrained habits to do with whether or not I reach out to friends, etc., um, and stuff about you know trauma, etc. But That um, that jungle had a deep root system, well-worn pathways, habits, things that, uh, that I would just default to, um, <clears throat> ideas and thoughts, things like, you know, you should do this, um, or you are that, or or when stressed, I would default to certain behaviours which, which just weren't helpful, you know, we, we sliding back into myself, hiding away from from things that I knew I wanted to do, uh, ways that I wanted to be, and uh, and this this six to eight weeks, actually more than that, um, has been really helpful. We've been working on a um, uh, it's called ACT, I think, ACT um, way of 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 doing and being and relating to your inner your inner thoughts and and feelings and. Um, I'm happy to say the roots are are shrinking. They're less and less likely to be getting in the way of how I live. Um, it's not it's not 
it's not done by any means, it's going to be an ongoing process. But I think that's part of the reason that, for example, I did reconnect uh, with friends. Um, before I went, I sort of was talking to, to to my therapist about this, and she said, yeah, that's a really good idea. In fact, I took, I took uh, a week off from seeing her in order to be able to do this. And she's like, yeah, go, yeah, go and see what, it, what what happens. And, um, yeah, it's, great. it's all good. Um, we, we, me and Mrs. Soup, she's currently asleep upstairs. We hope, bearing in mind this hopefully ever-improving ever mental landscape, we hope to make plans for the future. Um, we haven't yet quite run out of time to try for a kid um she is i mean i can't go into it here but 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 there are reasons why it it, it you would think it would be difficult um you know she's a she's had medical um medical issues in recent years um but actually it turns out that there might there might be a chance of it happening so maybe we need to to bite that bullet maybe we need to to grab that nettle and just give it a go and if it doesn't work then we know but if it does then maybe we're ready finally maybe i'm ready finally to create another path as opposed to those well-worn habits and and fears frankly yeah so planning for the future in that way but also in other ways I think we, I certainly would would love to to in to, uh, to manifest hope by planning for say five years from now. Um, I've never done that. I've never had a uh, uh, sleep in the eye. I've never had a, a five year plan, um, which is so popular apparently. But I think maybe, maybe that's the next step, is not to be going, if I make it to next year, we'll see. <laughs> um, which is ironic, given that, again, as I say, this year I was uh, in a resuscitation ward for the first time in my life. Hmm. In 2022, I did some really good things. I, I um, at least began for at least maybe half the year the habit of doing weekly doodles on Instagram, my scribble beard Instagram, where um, I post specifically artwork and creative things. Um, we did that, I did that, and I'd like to start again this year. I fell out of the habit for a couple of reasons, not least because I was clearly ill at one point, um, but it would be good to, to get back to that. But also on top of that, this year I did lots of painting and making and making a presence for people. There's one present actually currently on the dining table waiting for, for my friend Ruth, but uh, I shan't and can't share that on video because sometimes she sees these and uh, I want, don't want to spoil it, even 24 hours out. But, um, but for example, you may recall the maracas. I made the maracas for, um, for my lovely wife. She loves them she plays with them every now and then they live just up on the welsh dresser there um and they make her so happy and i'm so happy to have made them so yeah i've i've, I've been i have been creative this year i have made things uh i'd like to do more paintings next year um i'd like to do more regular doodles and that brings me on to my hope and that is my hope is to make time for more creativity this year, uh, this coming year. Um, actually deliberately block it out, don't see it as an extra that if, if I have time, I might do, but rather it's something that um, that's important to do, you know, uh, both in terms of fun and creativity, expressing um, ideas and thoughts and, and, you know, and exploring, um, artistically but also as well economically the more paintings i have the more prints i can have on my etsy store the more likely they are to bring in income so there's no reason not to just give it time give it space to breathe 
this year I, I feel as though I've become a better live streamer. I haven't become more regular. Um, and uh, you can probably imagine that's that's one of my hopes for, for, for the coming year, is to actually uh, stick more rigidly to my streaming schedule, i.e. Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then everything else is a bonus. Um, but, uh, but I feel as though I've become much more comfortable with live streaming, much more um, able to manage the stream, and also the discovery of... Um, of um, of that app that I'll put the name of on screen um, was fantastic. It, it solved the problems that's, that crept in with the um, with the Elgato Stream Deck and its its compatibility issues with following a OBS update and uh, got me back on track in terms of just feeling, you know, as I'm 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 in in control uh, of of things like the the audio volume that kind of thing. Um, Drumming. This year I got back to, to, to drumming regularly. Uh, at the moment, the dining table has a has a, um, a jigsaw on it, but uh, yesterday morning the electric drum kit that I got for in and around my birthday for about 50 quid, which was a bargain, an absolute bargain, second hand on, on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's just on one of the chairs at the moment. But it's, it's, it's just been fantastic getting back into that rhythm and, and actually also just biting the bullet and getting that particular kit because the other one that I was looking at, the other type that I was looking for uh, was a full, you know, required frames and pads and it, it was like setting, actually it was more intense than setting up a real drum kit I, by the look of it, I think. And realistically, I wouldn't have, it was the same problem I'd had with my previous practice kit with the, the, like a mesh based kit was that setting it up was not difficult didn't take a long time but it was it was a step that that if I just wanted to sit down and just drum for a bit while I was waiting for something to happen on my PC in the office or something it got in the way and therefore it never happened um whereas this thing it, it's it's a single carry all you know one one block it it's quite portable quick to set up it has little uh, electric pedals as well for the kick drum and the, the hi-hat and it's really responsive it does you know light and and heavy hits it has uh, the capacity for um uh for recognizing really rapid hits you can do it even do pretty much a drum roll on it and it'll recognize it lots of powder diddle and I, I can still do it. I'm still I'm still pretty good at it. So um, yeah, drumming. In terms of technology, that's been such a a rediscovery this year as well. And uh, yeah, as I say, I hope to be more regular with my live streams and also add um, add more features so people can use their accumulated bits or whatever they're called the 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 Twitch currency that you accumulate just for, you know, watching someone streaming. And also I want to do more varied streams. I've been sitting on Lego models that I want to build on stream. I'd like to do art on stream. Um, heck, I mean, we could even do do drumming on stream. That could be fun at some point. So more varied streams regularly. And again, just making time for it so that it's not something that, that happens as and when I can. Or that 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 fall. That's the first to fall when I feel, you know, as though I should be doing something else. Just, just you know, um, respect it. Respect the stream time. Respect the art time. And uh, hopefully things will be good. And then, just sort of looking outside the house. Um, this year I got hold of a bicycle. And it's a four X um, uh, post postal bike. A former posties bike uh, very substantial really well made currently sat under a tarp in the winter I'm, I, I'm sure it'll be fine um but I, I don't like the bike being outside in the cold um but we i got a bike uh mrs soup got a bike sadly though she injured her knee so she couldn't really ride it this year um i really like the bike and next year i want to be taking it more regularly out for trips i want to uh, to definitely use it more often to go to the post office and back um initially we tried putting indie 
in the basket and that had mixed results but maybe try that again next year as well um this year saw with the help of my wonderful in-laws who are currently asleep over there upstairs um we rescued our back garden we really fixed our back garden um which was a wonderful act of love we all came together and they just demonstrated how much they care for us by helping us create a space in the garden at a time when you know going going away uh for even just a weekend break um f at times felt unaffordable um yeah we really benefited from that and i think that the last thing that i need to do in the coming year um in addition to, to hopefully cycling a bit more and really enjoying that bike um is i need to i need to get back on top of the basketball net uh last last year last november was it um storm arwen came through and just wrecked the place i mean frankly there are there are still forests and and buildings around that are still damaged from that storm um huge chunks of wood for example earlier this year we were visiting a, a national trust property and and the whole place is still just a mess so it was a big storm it was like a once in a i don't know people keep on saying once in a century don't they once in a century economic crisis once in a century virus once in a... but this was a, a maybe once in a five year storm it was a big storm and um and it just ruined my basketball net and i haven't really got around to fixing it i thought i would but then the summer came and went and um and I just didn't. So I, I want to. I want to get. I want. Maybe it needs to, to come down completely. Take the pole away from the wall. And just mount the net itself to the wall. Maybe I need to get a different basketball net, possibly. Um, but I need to think about it, engage with it, and, and get to it because I love basketball. I love the rhythm of the dribbling and the jumping and the shooting and the aiming um, and the timing. You know, especially uh, when you just get that. And really neat little you know, swoosh sound when the you know nothing but net um nothing but net <laughs> God. why did i say it like that nothing but net mm. um yeah i miss that and so i should i should work towards it um since since the garden is so lovely now and and that's my list that's that's everything on my list um please i've been a good boy santa uh, it's been so nice this year in so many ways. I've, I've met wonderful people online. Uh, I've made really interesting friends in that sense. And so many of you, for example, watching this, um, hopefully uh, you know, you've been sticking around for years and you may well be with me for years to come. Um, but whatever happens this, this next year, here's hoping that that we can all make that space to let our desires, our, our hobbies, our hearts sing a little more and uh, maybe just maybe find a way to, to not let the world, you know, encroach too much on our, on our heads and on our hearts. And by the world, obviously, I mean, you know, negative things cold things miserable things um because there's been an awful lot this year it's been wonderful and warm and delightful so here's to that here's to more of that here's to christmas tomorrow uh whatever you're up to at the moment um hanukkah celebrating with family doing nothing in particular just enjoying the fact that actually no one's going to bother you <laughs> I know one person in particular who's like that this year, definitely. Thank God, just everyone could just fuck off. Um, <laughs> whatever you're up to, have a, have, a, have a fantastic time. And, yeah. Here we are once again in this, the quiet, the near silence of Christmas Eve. I'm going to enjoy it. Until next time, guys, do take care.
Bye-bye.